please begin by making yourselves very, very comfortable. This meditation has been created to allow you to bridge the distance between your inner child and your higher self. For the purpose of this meditation, it is essential that you understand that what is wrong is not you. You, at your core, are divine. You are God incarnate. You carry within you the seed of God. On your path, what has happened is that your inner child has perceived false information about your self-worth. The things that you have been experiencing have been painful and they have locked within your cells of your body in the form of memories, much toxic pain. It is the attachment to this pain. It is the replaying of the memories. It is the wounded image of self that was created by people who did not understand their divine nature. You have been wounded, dear one, in your life by those people who have been separated by their own or to or from their own I am that I am. Dear one, healing is possible. The only thing that we need to do is to help you integrate the inner child experience with the higher self experience and to allow you to grieve and to release the pain that may have locked in your body in the form of sorrow that is data. The information that is holding you down is data. What we need, however, is permission from this inner child who stores within its memory bank all the data, all the information, all the sorrow, all the minimizing, all the heinous ways in which our mothers and fathers, our siblings, our friends, peers, society, religions, authority figures, and even strangers have caused us. Within each inner child is the reality and the knowing of the enormous pain. Pain no one else outside of self could truly ever understand the inner child's experience. But dear one, there is an aspect of self that is divine. The aspect of self, the mother self, is within us, and mother self has the ability to acknowledge all the pain that is locked inside our divine inner child self. The problem is that we have been disconnected from mother self and we have been disconnected from higher self. Yet, that does not mean higher self does not exist. That does not mean we do not possess the ability to understand and acknowledge our inner child's pain. What I'd like 
you to do now is to prepare for this meditation. In this meditation, we are going to introduce you to the inner child. And from the higher self perspective, we are going to acknowledge fully the pain of the inner child's experience. Towards the end of this meditation, I'm going to ask you to become the role of inner child and to receive the grace and the apologies and the validation from higher self. So sit back, get yourself comfortable, and please close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Dear one, I ask you to reveal to me all your pain. I ask that you show me where it is that you feel your deepest sorrow. I ask that you allow me to see and feel your tears. Dear one, I love you so much. I love you so much. And I'm so sorry that I have not acknowledged your pain. If I have not come to you to acknowledge your sorrow, please allow me, allow me the honor of knowing who you are. Please allow me the honor of feeling your experience. Where is your pain? What is your pain? Why is this pain here? What has been done? Dear one, I'm acknowledging you. I'm acknowledging you from higher self. I know in the past, I have not acknowledged your pain. I have not. I have stopped it. I have ignored it. I have turned away from it. I have not understood it. I have lost my way. I have worried more about what other people think about me than what I think about you. And you have been wounded by my inner body to acknowledge you fully and to give you permission to express that which you feel. I did not know how to acknowledge what was happening within. My inner being was confused, separated, and I did not know how to integrate the experiences, the past, the emotions, the triggers. Please forgive me. It is the responsibility of mother to allow her child to express what she feels, to feel what she feels, and to love the child unconditionally. 
and I ask your forgiveness, dear one. Please forgive my ignorance. Please forgive me for not knowing, for not understanding, and being so lost, so disconnected from my own divinity that I hurt you. I come to you humbly and I ask you, my inner child, to forgive, to forgive what has been. I'm sorry I was asleep. I attached myself to data. I attached myself to fear and I attached myself to sorrow and I detached from you. Please forgive me for all the stored data and if you allow me to, dear one, I would love to touch your face. I would love to embrace your face, but only if you allow me. I love you. I love you so much. I am so sorry I have been detached from you for so long. Me. Your mother self. Please forgive me for the accumulated data and the memories I have attached to them. Please forgive me for my lack of boundaries. I know that this data and these memories have caused you great sorrow, dear inner child, and great fear and that those attachments have hindered your ability to express your gifts naturally in the here and the now. I am so sorry I have not been taking care of you. I am sorry for replaying the fears. If you can, please help me to release the fear that prevents you from allowing you to express yourself through this divine, physical, human body in this physical, time, space, reality. I am ready for us to become one. Allow me to hug you gently to cradle you and to thank you for being a part of me. I am so sorry for all the accumulated pain, for any attachment to memories. I am sorry I have failed you. I have not been the protective, safe, wise, selfless mother you deserved. Thank you for being a part of me, the most innocent, beautiful part of me, for breathing inside of me, for being inside of me. I love you dear one. Please allow me to help you feel safe, safe enough to release the sorrow and the pain that I have not allowed you to let go of. How could you, dear one? I never acknowledged it. I come to you today wishing to acknowledge the pain 
that my ignorance has caused you. I don't always know why I get stuck, but you do. If you know where the pain is that needs to be released so that you can fly and be the child you were born to be with your unique gifts, to live the life that you were meant to live. Please allow me to give you the unconditional acceptance you deserve that you always deserved. Please allow the mother self, me, to connect with the inner child that you are. Please allow me to bridge that gap between you and I. Dear one, I ask you now to play the role of inner child and allow yourself to merge to the higher self that is the divine mother self. Dear one, I look into your eyes. I look into the eyes of a child and I ask you to now look into my eyes of divine higher self. Feel yourself being embraced by mother self and divine higher self. I ask you now to merge with higher self, to merge with me, dear one. Allow me the pleasure the honor and the absolute blessing of merging higher self with inner child self. Please come into this new awareness. Share this new awareness with me. Allow us to integrate mind, body and soul. Allow higher self to connect to the inner child that is you. Together, inner child, dear inner child, so full of promise, so full of promise that I, mother self, was blind to for so long. I acknowledge your pain and humbly request that you help me release the pain so that you and I can merge, so that higher self can learn to take care of the inner child self, and so that inner child no longer has to live in fear, that higher self that mother self, that the I am that I am does not know how to take care of the inner child. You can release. I am here. I am awakened within you. I am no longer asleep. I see you, I acknowledge you, I feel you, I see the past. I'm sorry I have abandoned you and did not know how to process, to feel and deal with emotions and pain, rejection, abandonment, and invalidation. I validate you. 
I will never abandon you. I will always see you. I will always feel you. I will always honor you. Forevermore, I will respect you. You and I together will stand before the world a united front, integrated mind, body, and soul. And if you please allow me to, please allow me the honor of making you my own. Please allow me the honor of knowing you more deeply. Please allow me, my divine inner child, the ability to express you through me, through my adult body, through my adult experiences. Please allow me the ability to express who you truly are and who you were truly meant to be through the physical body, through the physical vehicle that I am. The I am that I am, dear one, is no longer a child. Your divine self is an adult now and I am ready to step into that divine capacity. I am ready to nurture you. I am ready to hear you. I am ready to acknowledge you. I am ready even, dear one, to forgive myself for the data, for not knowing how to reach my divine self, how to forgive myself. I forgive myself, dear one, for not knowing how to allow my inner child to speak. I ask you, inner child, to please allow our heart chakras to blend and become one. Speak your truth through this physical chakra system that I possess in the physical form. Speak your truth through this throat chakra. Mend your throat chakra with higher self. Mend your third eye with my third eye. I see you perfectly now. You are perfect. You always were. You always will be. And I ask you to allow us to move forward in this new understanding that we are and always were perfect in dwelling. Counting up now, five, four, three, two, one. Please just sit in this life Please just sit in this feeling, in this resonance, in these vibrations. Please just bask in this energy, this healing energy. Please just allow your auric field to fill with love energy, with energy that your body and mind have transmuted and transcended into love energy, healing energy. For too long, so many of us have abandoned self, a 
mirror to all the times we were abandoned in the past. It is time. The aspect of self. Who could have been protecting inner self. Be forgiven. Be understood. And be given a voice. The aspect of us that can protect us is the Divine Mother within us. It is time to forgive what we did not know and to ask inner child to forgive that aspect of us as well. We are enough. We just didn't know that. And conditioning, familial, religious, societal, cultural conditioning kept us blind to the reality that we are enough. Every human being is enough. It is time to keep our eyes focused on within and to remind us each and every day we need to remind ourselves to seek validation from within and to stop abandoning the inner child. Validate yourself. Love yourself unconditionally. Respect yourself. Honor your intuition day by day, bit by bit life will improve, healing will come. Namaste.